Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. Hello, hi, it's me. Back on my laptop for the first stream in like ages, but it's me, ya homie, for shile. How's it going? It's been a mighty, mighty long time since I have streamed on Ye Old Trooper. And as you can see in the stream title, I'm doing something that I don't often do. And that is a react stream. But this time, this time, I have a guest. You've likely seen or heard my guest before on my streams, but uh, I will be summoning the homie in Uno Mementio as soon as my uh, Live 2D rolls up on screen. Just gonna give that a moment, and I will make sure that he is available, and then we will get this show rolling. What's poppin', Amit? How's it going, homie? What's good in the hood? One second. As soon as this thing decides it wants to respond again, we will uh run it up. Any time now. Come on, do your thing. All right. Now that that's up and right. Ooh, hold on. I'm gonna press some buttons real quick. Okay. It looks like we're good. All right. So now I will ring up the homie real quick. As soon as, uh, Everything starts responding again. Hopefully, I won't have. Well, hopefully, nothing breaks midstream. Hopefully. Hey, what up? Hey, man. I don't make this shit, all right? Booty, 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 face ass. What the fuck? Like I said, I don't make this shit. Uh, we need to figure out why you're not on screen. Oh, there you are. Hey, something real quick. Hi. Okay, there we go. I gotta turn you up. Or mad quiet. As I'm now. Hi. I don't know why all my microphones are like this. I don't know. It's just a fucking curse, I guess. It is what it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now that we've got everything that's necessary established. Well, I need to 
I might have to switch what model I'm using at some point. But anyway, so this uh this here uh video, right? By the by the jackass that said uh healers have a rotation. Right? Wait, he was that guy? I I forgot about that. Yeah, he was that guy. I don't think they ever had a rotation in the game, but go off, I guess. Yeah, th this this was the same dude that sat up here and said with his whole chest and like I believe it was like a like a the video was at least at least about 10 minutes long or whatever. And he was really sitting up here going at length about how healers need to be doing more DPS and stop healing so much and what's going on about rotation this, rotation that. And I think, I think Brody made that video in like, uh, 2021, something like that. But yeah, he was that guy. I forgot all about that shit. Yeah, because that dude isn't worth remembering. But anyway. Yeah, fun reacting to this one, then. Well, yeah, I know that I am, because, well, when I sent it to you, I said I only watched, like, what, three minutes of it before I just turned that shit off? Mm-hmm. Right, so, uh, for, for context and additional information for the YouTube and the Twitch people that are going to eventually see this, right? I, myself, I play the game a lot. I do a lot of extremes. I do some savages here and there. But when I play the game, I play the game and I do shit I want to do, right? I'm not like some Giga Chad, super high parser guy. I just know what I'm doing and I do my shit well, okay? And I have my moments where I talk my shit to people. But when I do it, I mostly do it to be funny and not to be like, in a like 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 a like an actual elitist bastard like the guy in the video that we're gonna see right now, uh, zero on the other hand, uh, he does this shit frequently, but you've you've cleared the current tier right? Shit. Okay, listen. Right, <laughs> I just got bored of the fucking game. I was supposed to do week one, and then fucking people decided to be jackasses about which strat they wanted to do. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna do it another time. Uh, but yeah, no, I got mo I got every part of the tier done. I've parsed relatively high on most of the fights in the uh fight that's that, that we have. But yeah, no, I don't have the tier done. But I've done a lot of shit. I cleared both tier, both previous tiers, two ultimates, and could go for a third ultimate in the summer. So I, I play the game uh, like a tiny bit, right? Just, just a tiny bit. Uh huh. Tiny bit. Sure. Yeah. Either way, the both of us, we play the game quite a bit, so for a large majority of this, we know what the hell we're going to be talking about, and I'm really not interested in the fucking, oh, well, blah, 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 and the whataboutism people. No, if you're going to do that, don't even bother watching the video. Just just click off this bitch right now, and uh, you know, do what you do. But anyway, I'm going to hit this here play button, and... Uh, this is probably going to be at least an hour, and I guarantee I'm going to get pissed off a couple of times because objectively and just being fully transparent because that's, you know, my brand. I don't like this dude. <laughs> I don't like his opinions, and I don't like other things that I've seen from him and heard about him from many a people. So with that honestly, in wait, mind, before we start, honestly, I'll put it like this. Just, just to give you some real expectations, you will probably agree with a lot of Zeno's points about the video as a whole, and that's saying a lot because I'm pretty sure you don't, you don't care for Zeno, anyways, right? Not really. I mean, sometimes he's pretty funny, but other times it's like, eh, okay, sure. So if he can get you to agree. A lot of people you probably don't agree with or probably don't like, don't like this video anyways. But there's a lot of circle drinking comes. But anyways, let's get started. I bet.
Hello, everyone. I was Lynx Kameli. Okay, bro, stop. <laughs> I am dude. I'm not gonna spend too much time doing the whole recap thing, because I've only seen about three minutes of this. But I still don't understand the point of, like, full-on wiping your character. Six years, by the way. Right, right, right. That's, an, bro, bro, Brody allegedly, you know, played the game for six years, and he keeps going on about, oh, I have 12,000 hours, and it's like, okay, so why would you delete your fucking character? It's you still bit, have bro. your subscription, why would you delete your character? For the bit, bro. Come on now. Yeah, whatever. You don't your fucking character, your save files for a bit? I would rather do things that I can't say on either platform's TOS than delete a save file. For the first time in recorded history, Final Fantasy XIV is currently going through a bit of a rocky period. Oh, what? Hello? Amit7957 has purchased oh, five oh. chest of cards That's and got three card. cards. Thank you for buying cards, bro. I appreciate it. Um, I, this is another thing that I'm, that I don't want to spend too much time on, but like ever since, ever since Zeppla, uh, made her video about Endwalker is the worst expansion she's played, that led to like people who don't have and never have really had a real opinion of their own coming out the cut talking about oh well actually endwalker is like really really lame and just like repeating the same points in her video because uh it it was wasn't too long ago but like one of the rare instances that I talked in novice network and someone was going on about uh <laughs> uh endwalker is dead or there's nothing to do and I just asked Amir why and then everything that they said was just like reiterated Zeppelin points. And I'm like, okay, can you give me an opinion that isn't Zeppelin's entire video? And they didn't have anything to say. Because like, if you ask me, me personally, I would like to have had a Bazia or Eureka equivalent in Ed Walker. But we don't have that. Because people literally ask for it not to happen. You know? I would like more um, PvE related things to do that aren't just raids and extremes. But we don't have that because that's literally what people asked for not to have. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of the fact that like like a point Zeno has reiterated a lot, People who do midcore stuff, like the art, like deep, deep into raiding, you're fucked because what? What the fuck do you have? You got fucking Criterion that gives you jack shit for rewards. Yeah, okay. You got extremes that, admittedly, can be challenging, but a lot of the times they don't provide a real good satisfaction, like middle ground between savages and ultimates. What? What? You got fucking Island Sanctuary? Yeah, because that's definitely a midcore thing to do. Like, it, right, that you're really. Fucked. That's Animal Crossing in Final Fantasy. Which isn't even that fucking good, because if I want to truly play Animal Crossing, I'll go play Animal Crossing. Right. Like, you know, when it when, when Island Sanctuary first dropped, you know, it was cool, it was different, and it was nice. But then over time, it was just like, I kind of got everything I wanted out of this already. What else do I do? Yeah, no, I'm, like, grinding it out right now. I'm just, like, putting up the uh, stuff, but it's just, like, I don't really care to necessarily sit in the fucking island and just go collect shit. Like, that's not the kind of gamer I am. I definitely don't want to do that in this game in particular. So. <laughs> like, the fuck? Although I no longer play the game, I loved FF14 like no other game I had ever played. I in my headphones. Okay, so... Fuck, I've already paused three times at 15 seconds. Oh, boy. Um, what time are you at the video? I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up on my... I'm at 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We... We, <laughs> yeah. we in for the long haul with this one, gang. <laughs> well, you don't pull up a different game then, bro. Oh, my God. Wow. You, okay. Okay. Yeah. Like... <laughs> like... 
Bro Brody says that he loves the game, but then I'm pretty sure he's going to spend the rest of the video, like, contradicting himself. And, oh well, no, that this, I have a point that I'm going to bring up later, but it, it involves a video on his other channel that was really eye-opening after I watched it. And we're not going to react to that one too much, though. I could, but I'm probably not. That's a future me decision. We'll get there when I get there. Anyway. I've put in over 12,000 hours in the six years that I played, and I've seen the game transform over time from a highly creative niche substitute for World of Warcraft to an unrecognizable mess of oversimplification and lack of creativity. The opinions and ideas I will present in this video are feelings I have had for a very long time. Much- Okay, wait. Um, when he says lack of diversity and oversimplification and i'm this i've already said it once i'm probably gonna say about six more times right the thing with the homogenization of everything and there is now proof to back this up because recently in an interview you know our, our man's yoshi p was like yo we want to do things that help out the average person and help out the raiders and help out people in between and it was to the effect of you know a lot of people were asking for everything to be lined up and everything to be easier and we did that and people are upset about it and it's like you can't ask for something and then when you get that something you're pissed off about it. That's not how this works. Nah, fuck you. That's how it, it does work. Anyway, like, like, don't get me wrong, right? Because of the kinds of games I grew up playing, I would like it if things were just a wee bit harder, you know, um, um, like design wise and class wise and whatever, whatever. But I am one person that is a psychopath when it comes to games in a yeah. sea of like millions of people. That play this of one game of casuals might i add a very 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 hard casuals that play the game exactly so it's like you know when you have the the non-casual people being like this sucks that sucks this needs to change that needs to change because and and and, and i've talked about this before when final fantasy will come up in conversation both on stream and in discord servers but I will never, ever forgive the Raiders for ruining Astrologian. Because <laughs> those were the people going on about, I, want, I only want damage cards. I don't want a defense card. I don't want MP regen. I don't want a crit buff. I don't want a speed buff. I just want the balance. Though when all the cards got changed to be just damage. Oh. People still had a fucking problem with it. And then everybody else that wasn't all like coked out trying to hit max deeps on baby mode content or normal mode content or whatever. They were like, yo, where'd the novelty and the uniqueness go from Astrologen? Where it's gone. Hence why there was a massive drop off in people playing Astrologen in Shadowbringers. Moving on before I stopped playing the game, but I never felt comfortable sharing these feelings because FF14 has a critical issue. You, or more appropriately, the FF14 community. I want to bring it's special no attention to that point of, I didn't feel comfortable making this opinion. Yeah, he waited for everybody to fucking make their own videos about it before he wanted to make his, despite his opinion being utter shit. And also, like I said, the moment... He was like, oh, yeah, now I can drop my video because everybody else dropped their video, too. It's just like, you didn't give a damn anyways, bro. You just decided to wait and be a bitch about it. If you really had Joe's strong opinion, you would have dropped it way longer ago. That ass, bro. Because, like, like if, if I had stayed on the content creator out of when I first started taking this shit seriously and I was like, oh, I'm the Final Fantasy fourteen content creator. If I had an issue with Endwalker... And I felt, you know, strongly about it. I wouldn't wait until like the big name people in the community make their videos and then be like, oh, well, now that the fire has died down, I can say my piece. No, 
If you got something you got to say, say it with your whole chest. Don't be a pussy about it. Do not be a pussy about it. Also, Emmett, hold on to your cards until like a different stream. Don't don't use any speech related cards this stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. Secret that a large amount of 14 players are Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh that's that's why I originally meant to pause for. Um the thing with the community, right? I agree. That that is that is probably the one of three things I'll likely agree with this son of a bitch with. But like having been in it as like an observer, because I'm I don't really want to say that I'm a huge part of it. Cause there really is like a, a, a genuine hive mind with the 14 community and that can go for any fucking space, but we're talking about 14 specifically. It has the issue of, it, it has the same problem that, 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 that the VTubing space does, right? It's so rife and rancid with extreme toxic positivity and how you literally can't say that anything is wrong with the game lest you want to resign your fate away to the cronies and the psychos and the people that like want to dox you and harass you over saying that you have an issue with something in the game right that's the problem that final fantasy 14 space has i will agree with him on that is hive mind as fuck bro also what's up kano what's popping yeah i uh, i can so as someone who's a little bit more into the community i can say this much the issue with it is that a lot of the time it it's this weird dichotomy all the doomers never have any sensible takes so then everybody's like oh all oh, the doomers are just have shit takes so then now the doomers are all, all, all mad about the Yoshi P fucking glazers because now they're all like, oh, all these Yoshi P glazers, man. All they do is just go cock, cock, cock. Like they, just, <laughs> they, just, they can't ever fucking say anything right. Like, gosh. So then they're always neck and neck and back going back and forth. So it's never like a positive like interaction between the two. And neither side will be like, you know, you, you, you make a valid case. Like nobody will ever do that. And the community, it's really bad because I, I, I can I can miss the specific day. I was in the chilling vibe and talking to people, and then we got to talking about for actual the game for once. And like, yeah, no, this game could be fucking fantastic. Like this game, my personal opinion, this is my it's my second favorite game of all time. It could be my first, but a combination of the community, which for lack of a better word, I mean, yeah, like that's only my bad, but I mean, hell, to the community point. Does anybody remember Salted Earth situation? Dog. I, I remember that situation. Dog, don't, don't, don't get me started on that shit, bro. And that shit was. Uh, you guys remember Rin? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. Do like, not there, get me started on that shit, bro. This stream will be a, twenty hours long, dog. Yeah, there's a lot of fuck. There's a like this community. I don't, and it's really funny that this community has been touted for overwhelmingly po positivity. Yeah, if you're in the community for less than maybe a month, you'll you, and you're like at least like somewhat into it, then you'll know for sure. But like for me, like I enjoy interacting with people. Like I do stuff within the community, and I try to do other stuff that I plan on doing most in the community. But I digress. The point is. The community really doesn't allow for that much outspoken stuff unless you go to the point where you just don't care, like Xeno, for example. And I would probably keep mentioning him because I actually do like his content. I watch it regularly. But still, when you don't care about what people necessarily think and like your brand, you be real with it, then you can actively have conversations. But 75% of people don't do that. So. And that's exactly why I say the 14 community has the same fucking problem that the VTubing community does. Same goddamn problem. All right, resume. For diehard lovers that will not accept any criticism or negativity towards their perfect game. 
Whenever someone brings up a problem they have with the game, they have to keep adding disclaimers that everything is fine out of fear of invoking the wrath of the FF lovers. This is such a waste of potential because this dungeon could probably be badass, but instead they're going to make it brain dead easy to cater to casuals. And that's fine. That's, that's fine. A vast majority of their content is so that anybody can do it. And while that's good, and I'm not saying that they should take it away, they need to add some stuff. That point is super taken out of context, by the way. Oh yeah, I, 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 I know for a fact that's taken out of context. And like I said, I don't even watch Zeno. But like, e e e even without the context, right? Even without the context, right? The game cannot cater to one side of the player base, right? If, listen, listen, hear me out, right? If the game catered to people like me that plays the game or plays any game like i'm playing devil may cry the game will be hit the, the game, game you have fucking 10 players like what the fuck right the game will be hit it, it, it's done it's not happening right same thing can be attributed to if the game catered to people that only did raids that only did extremes that only did ultimates the game would be cooked it would not last another month there would be nobody playing this bitch and so like i said earlier you got to find the middle ground now would i like for there to be savage versions of the story dungeons of course would that ever happen probably not but it's a main story dungeon right Specifically in terms of the game itself, a main story dungeon is not supposed to be ball bustingly hard, dog. Because how are you gonna finish the story to unlock the rest of the content? If you can't if you can't play the game, you can't do the content. So it has to be for the casuals no matter what. Because if the casuals can't do it, that's like a good 70% of the people that's probably going to quit the game because they can't beat something. Like, come on, man. All right, uh, you had a... You, you, so, so tell me the context of this clip being taken out of context. So Zito's basically saying that the dungeon has so much potential to be really good, but obviously they're just going to, like accommodate for everybody and make it a, a easy dungeon and the aesthetics are cool and all but it's like yeah i mean it's not gonna be that challenging which is fine because at a certain point you're just like the dungeons are going to be cool and good because of their like lore significance like the story stuff all, all that kind of stuff and it's fine that they aren't necessarily doing it we can still ask for it you know but i mean it's perfectly fine but like the way what Lynx is doing is taking that as like, oh, see, he's so scared about the community's opinion. He's so scared about the community. Look, guys, look, guys, he's so scared. He's so scared. He's so scared. The fuck? No, he isn't. Listen, I may not watch Zeno just because I don't, I don't watch. I don't have no beef against him or nothing. But like, I know good and damn well that he will be one of the first people to call these motherfuckers out and be like, y'all are weird. Y'all are gross. You stink. Get it together. Like. Mm -hmm. Zeno is the last person to be afraid of the community. If anything, and this 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 is nothing, nothing against Zeppla, but I'm pretty sure that Zeppla would prob probably, in extreme air quotes, be one of the few that's like, quote unquote, afraid to keep it real or like address the the psychos or the space as a whole because of Zeppla. Now, oh my god, huh? You got beef with Zeppelin now. Oh my god. I'm telling her. I'm telling her. Anyway, nigga. Oh, fuck. Like, she's probably the only one just, just because of how she... How she conducts her streams and her, like, general energy. Like, she's not the one to be ultra negative, minus a certain game that came out this year. But, she's not the type to be, like, super negative and shit, right? So if anyone, that would probably, if he showed a clip of Zeppla instead of Zeno, I'd be like, okay, I kind of get it. But Zeno, fuck no, dude, you, you picked the wrong guy, the wrong the guy. The worst guy at that. is a little harder that not everybody can do it. I'm not saying they need to like, I'm not saying they need to. However, 
community sentiment seems to be declining for the first time in ever. I mean, Z that's cap. Zeppla, FF14's beacon of positivity and happiness, released a 36 minute video going over all of her issues with FF14's current expansion and larger core issues with the game as a whole. Now, this was surprising. I mean, that's like a WoW player saying World of Warcraft is actually a good game. Like, that is beyond controversial. And yet, it seemed to go over well with a large amount of people agreeing and seeing through the Yoshi P indoctrination. I didn't watch the Zeppelin video, not because I didn't want to hear negative things about the game. It's because I've already had many a discussion with people that have their own personal gripes against the game. And my assumption was I'm probably going to hear repeated things over and over and over that I've already heard. And therefore, I didn't watch it because I didn't care. I didn't care enough to watch it. Did you watch I just, it? No, I, I, you know, like nothing against that, but I'm just like some people I don't like for 14 community. I don't always sit down and just watch it. It's like the only person, the only two people that I may actively watch to make 14 videos is, you know, and maybe Ness, but even then I watch Zeno's videos, but I watch most of the videos just because I like him as a content creator. For, 14 it's it's a weird thing but no i just i, I honestly i just couldn't bring myself to watch it <laughs> think i'm hearing 36 minutes of bad job design oh my lack god of content um what are the repeated point other repeated points it's just like as much as i probably could sit down and watch it and like get my own thoughts about it and opinions about it man i don't fucking make content so why the fuck am i gonna do that shit anyways i don't feel like i'd enjoy the video anyway so what's the fucking point i'm so tired what? of of motherfuckers that keep going on on and on and on about bad job design bad job design bad job design you motherfuckers asked for it to be this way wait like, yeah. like i would <coughs> it's probably gonna come up later in the video so i'm not gonna go too in depth but i was talking with a bro the other day about like uh uh the changes that some classes have gotten and i was explaining to him that yeah summoner used to be the go-to dot person and then motherfuckers was complaining that summoner had too many buttons and too many things to keep track of and too many things <gasps> excuse me and too many things to do and what happened summoner became an install character in a fighter game and people <laughs> still don't like that People were asking, oh, well, I want to do more things with Titan, more things with Garuda, more things with Ifrit. Okay. You got it. I don't like it. I want it to be different, bro. What the fuck? Type shit, you know? And because he plays healer, he was, um, he was talking about, like, the differences between, you know, White Mage, Astro, Scholar, Sage, blah, 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 and was saying that, like, he hopes Scholar doesn't get gutted. And because I don't have Scholar, but I know someone that plays Scholar, you, I was like, you know, Scholar ain't, I don't see Scholar getting gutted and I don't see any massive changes happening to Scholar because Scholar from the jump was the OG. Hey, here's a fat shield. If you die, that's not my fault type shit, you know, and Sage is the install shield character, right? So they have their differences and they focus on what they do, what one for, for Sage, you got to press one button a lot. And for Scholar, it's like you got to manage X, Y, Z, and then you're straight. But the issue is that, you know, we're, we're, for, for having things be removed and things to be homogenized and easier, if it was left alone and left as is and, and improved on from its original vision, people would have been mad about it. With the changes that come in place, people are mad about it, right? Because... Like, okay, yeah, it was pretty neat having both regens and shields on Astro and Shadowbringers. I like that. That was all right. And then it went away because we got Sage. I'm like, okay, that's all right, you know? Astro can be the, oh, you're going to be constantly healing ass, dude, and I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Sage can do what it does, and Scholar can remain as the go-to, because it's always been that way, the go-to shield healer. It's always been like that. And people having a problem with that, it's like, yo, 
and and, and what what is the the third or fourth time I've said this? This is what you asked for. So it's like you either take it and deal with it, or you just don't play the damn thing. Because and and I don't want to I don't want to say that as like a uh, like a diminishing point or whatever, but I've heard just about every single conceivable argument about why they don't like Astro anymore and why they don't want this, why they don't want that. But then when you ask them to provide the kinds of changes they want to see, they don't have an answer for it. So at that point, I'm just like, well, sucks. I don't know what to tell you, gang. I don't. <laughs> I can cope, I guess. Right. <laughs> Anyway, criticizing the game for its legitimate shortcomings, so clearly things are changing. Hence, me finally feeling comfortable to talk candidly about a game I used to love and genuinely want to see succeed. I'll be bringing up four main topics in this video, however I won't be discussing the story since I'm a story skipper. An opinion invalidated. So I don't have much to say on that, and it does seem to be one of the last remaining good parts of FF14. Oh. Topic 1. The formula is breaking down. For anyone that has played FF14 for longer than one expansion, we all know that this game operates on an extremely strict by the books formula with zero surprises. Every expansion has three savage raid tiers, three alliance raids, two trial bosses at launch, and a new one every major patch, accompanied with a new dungeon. I mean, there is zero room for going above and beyond. Just stick to what has always been delivered. And people are just simply getting tired of it. There is I I don't see and this, this this might just be me. I don't see the problem in lying down an established pattern and then continuing to work with said pattern because if you just suddenly change up the fucking formula people are going to be like, "Whoa, there's either too much or too little," right? Now I don't often play many games or many MMOs these days anymore that have consistent expansions upon release. The only thing that I can really attribute that to is Fantasy Star Online 2 before New Genesis came out, where uh -huh. where every episode that came out, that that episode was the expansion, and we got so much shit per episode, right? So then, imagine the shock, surprise, and whiplash when New Genesis comes out and it has nothing. Absolutely nothing in comparison to the previous episode that came before that. And by the way, just to remind people, PSO2 is a free game. PSO2 has been running since 2012, and New Genesis came out. A few years ago and on launch was nothing there now is it entirely fair to compare a fresh brand new version of a pre-existing game to a game that's been going since 2012 and has six expansions to it not really however it was hyped up as oh this is going to be a brand new pso2 and there's going to be so much stuff to do in it so if you lay down the expectations and then you dash those expectations what are you left with? People being upset. And then with 14, for example, they've been doing this since the game came out, right? And so even if you were to like, I don't know, remove one dungeon or even remove one extreme trial or hell, add an additional tier. Someone's going to have a problem with that. Whether it be, oh my god, there's too much shit, or oh my god, there's not enough shit. Like, what? where is the issue in establishing a working pattern that has been working for them for ages? Right? I, I don't see the issue with that. I don't. I think it's just, he. I mean, he did play the game for fucking six years, allegedly, so I mean, he'd get kind of tired, but that's... That consistency is what's good, though. You come back in a few months and then, oh, there's new stuff. Or, hey, you can rely on it not 
fucking being a job because i'm pretty sure a lot of other mmos are fuck feel, can feel like a goddamn job so this one not feeling like a job is really and it also somehow being a very good game is great in my opinion but right I mean, some people want want the and it is it's a fair point some people want this game to be their main game and i can i can, honestly i see that i mean it's technically my quote unquote main game, but not really because the game doesn't have enough content to truly be like a main main game. But even then, to still, I just feel like, you know, you can still, you can ask for stuff, but like asking like, oh yeah, no, change up the entire, change up your entire flow after 10 plus years of it working. Like the fuck? No. You actually, to, to that point, I'd, I'd raise the question. Look at all these other IPs and look at all the other things that have been that like places that have been trying new stuff and look at the success that they've had. Exactly. They haven't had jack shit happen for them because when they change up their flow, a lot of people don't fucking like that. People like consistency. They're not going to they, a lot of people are reluctant and hesitant to, to change. So why the fuck would I change a 10 plus year strategy? The fuck? No, I'm not going to do that. Exactly. And you want to know the perfect example of this that we were both affected by? Mm-hmm. Luna Online, bro. Fuck, man. <laughs> Luna, Luna Online was so gas from the jump. And then when Luna Plus came out, that is what killed the game because of how much shit in it changed. Franchise at that. L- literally, bro, it didn't just kill the It killed the company. Isoft don't exist no more, bro. <laughs> so it's like, it's like you, you, you gotta be real careful when you go around changing shit because you could do what Luna Online did, release an expansion, and oh, suddenly Oops. you don't have a game anymore. Oopsies. <laughs> right? Like, come on. You, you gotta be careful with that shit, bro definitely value in knowing what you'll be getting when you pay for an expansion. I mean, if any of you have been paying attention to Destiny 2, that game is a complete RNG loot box of what you'll get when you pay for an expansion. However, the downside to being extremely formulaic is you lose the ability to excite people. No longer am I sitting at the edge of my seat watching every live letter stream theorizing with my friends on what they'll announce next. I know what's coming. Another 24-man raid. One new dungeon, a new trial boss, another four bosses in the Savage tier. <gasps> Except actually the final boss of the Savage tier is two fights that are half finished to form a five boss raid tier. Pfft, whoa, dude. What if they just made one fight that was fully complete? Okay, sorry, that's besides the point. I got a little off my rocker there. The point is okay, veteran asshole. players that have been around for a few cycles of the 14 formula are just getting burnt out. And what's strange about this is Final Fantasy XIV has grown immensely. I mean, the popularity of this game has only gone up over time, which obviously means way more revenue. And yet, what's to show for it? In fact, some of you might not know- What do you mean, what's to show- Huh? Nah, gang, what you- what you mean by that? What does he mean by that? What- What- what do you mean- all this and that has gone up, and there's nothing to show for it, bro. What? I don't... I don't understand that. Yeah, it's... That, that, that's a weird take, bro. They made all this money, so I, I mean, I guess that's... Hmm. Know this, but in Heaven's Word, we actually got two dungeons per patch. We've steadily been getting less dungeons with every expansion because you know what Square Enix does? Instead of investing the increased revenue to grow the game, they only ever move development to different pieces of content, never increasing the overall amount of content. The mis- It's almost like Square Enix is a major company that they require money to do other things to keep themselves being a company. Because if they funneled all their money into 14, we wouldn't get anything else square related. We wouldn't get an Octopath Traveler. We wouldn't get a Triangle Strategy. We, w- we wouldn't get Pixel Remasters. We wouldn't get shit, bro. What do you... Okay. All right. Whatever. The mystical question everybody's had this expansion is, where is Endwalker's Eureka and Bajja equivalent? Bro, I... <laughs> 
We don't have a Eureka Basia equivalent because people asked for it in droves on Twitter, on the forums, in games, in videos, in streams, not to have that again because incompetent loser ass people who could not fathom the smallest possible grind was like, I don't want to do this. Give me something else in exchange that also gives me a really cool shiny object, but not have to grind for it. Man. Man. <laughs> okay, alright. Well, it's called Criterion Dungeons. No ish Guardian Restoration equivalent in Endwalker? Yes, people, there is. people asked to not have that either. It's called Island Sanctuary. Less dungeons and Stormblood onwards? Well, that's to make way for ultimate raids. You see, despite FF14 exploding in popularity. The one thing that people ask for more of. It's like, you can't. And, and I know I said this earlier, you can't ask for one thing and then tweak out when something else takes a hit. People are, 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 are I, I've seen people ask for an ultimate per patch, bro. The fuck? Like that, no. that's literally not happening. Like, no. dog. In order no, to get more, in order to get more ultimates, something else in the game has to take a hit, bro. Because you have to make the fight, design the fight, code the fight. Like, man, come on, come on. He cannot be this purposely obtuse, man. And that also goes for the general player base too. Y'all can't be this fucking obtuse. You can't. And if you are, you better be, you better add like slash S to it or slash JK or something, bro. Shit. And the cash shop overflowing with overpriced garbage to milk the player base. Square Enix has never added content to the game, only replaced content. And this formula is just getting stale. Do I really want to spend $15 a month just to do another 24-man raid that is exactly like the ones that came before it? Topic 2. Repetition breeds apathy. Beyond just sticking to the formula for content releases, FF14 has also lost all creativity when it comes to encounter design, which was- Where? Th th this is coming- This is coming from the guy that did not play Endwalker- Oh god, there's a bot in my chat, hold on. Oh my. This is coming from the same dude that did not play Endwalker, by the way, that quit on like- like- the ending bits of Shadowbringers, by the way. So, like, I don't really think he has the stones to comment on battle design and, and combat encounters. No, because he's missed some of the best fucking fights they've designed. Literally. Like, like shit, bro. My, my favorite trial that came out the uh, the whole expansion so far was fucking Golbez, but Golbez was heat, bro. And it's not because I'm a Final Fantasy fourteen uh four stand. God, the Golbez fight was just awesome. That shit was tight. Like the End Singer fight was tight. Fucking Barbaricia, that her fight was tight, bro. Like, come on, man. Some of the raids was tight. You no, you can't comment on something you didn't play, man. <laughs> you can't. It was arguably FF14's greatest strength outside of the story for years. In fact, one of my most popular videos on this channel is me selling the game to WoW players on how great the boss encounters are. But again- You tweaking. Because I've, I've seen some WoW boss fights? N nah, bro. And, and I'm not saying this because I dislike WoW or anything like that. I've seen how some WoW fights work. Nah, gang. And for those of us that have been around for a while, we have started to see the utter lack of innovation when it comes to boss design, even in the ultimate fights. Every mechanic is just a random combination of group stacks, prey markers, tether grabbing, limit cut, tower soaking, or god forbid clock spots. I mean, it's all been done before! There is no interesting new mechanics that challenge your gameplay ability. If you're a veteran player or no one, tell me if this sounds familiar to you. Oh, this mechanic is like this other mechanic in that other boss. 
Every boss is just a reskin of mechanics used in previous fights over and over. All you have to do when learning a new Final Fantasy XIV boss is find the safe spot because do you know what every FF14 mechanic in existence is? Stand and let thing resolve. That is a whole ass lie, bro. That that is that is a lie from hell to hell and back, bro. Because there 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 are plenty of mechanics in the game that if you stand still, you will die. There are so many mechanics that take and remix this and remix that, and they're not just reskins. It's like uh, what what what's what um what was that one that one Gobez mechanic with the meteors and shit. Uh, not the one that spawns on, on on the two corners, but the one where you, where you need a buddy with. Oh, Void Stardust. Those are enumerations, yeah. Yeah, like, like, what, that was, that was introduced as a mechanic in Shadowbringers. And in Gobez, it's like, hey, do this thing, but also, if you stand, you will die. Because, what, the meteors come within, like, less of, less than a second after each other? And then you yeah, gotta make sure you're in the right spot, otherwise you go sky high, and then you break your neck when you hit the ground? Yeah. Like, again, this is a situation of someone talking out their ass about something they didn't fucking play. Because there are, there are a lot of mechanics that's just like, oh hey, you, you, you need to keep moving, otherwise you're done for. There are... Plenty of things that's like a combination of one in or fucking one in six with a little bit of two in there somewhere, right? There's the there's so many different um uh uh color mechanics, right? To where if you don't have the right thing, you're finished. Like in the uh, P11, the <laughs> the <laughs> the Seed of Sacrifice remix fight, mu music wise, anyway, it's like. You have to, you have to be paying attention because hey if you just stand there you're finished because because since if he wants to take the angle of all the mechanics are stand and let thing resolve okay p11 bro bro jumps in the air and hits somebody if you just stand there you're gonna die if you don't move to the right spot you're gonna die right so like him saying that there are things that are stand and let things resolve is just factually incorrect. And even in some of the new ultimates, like DSR and Top, those have mechanics that are not just stand and let things resolve, bro. You're wrong. You are factually and objectively wrong. And he's just like, he's saying this shit with his whole chest. And he, I, I, and I can tell in his voice, he is digging in, into his elitism bag. And it's not the funny kind either. Oh yeah, no, this guy is fucking. Just wait. Just wait. Oh lord. Okay. All right. I am so concerned now that you said that. Seriously, when I had this realization, is when I lost all interest in FF14 encounter design. Stand and let thing resolve. That is every mechanic. There is no innovation to the gameplay. Just simply a new twist on stand and let thing resolve. Where other MMOs have moving platforms that require careful jumping, boss attacks that can be countered, which- I hate the fact that he's showing Lost Ark, bro. <laughs> because- Because <laughs> I, I have not played Lost Ark, but I've watched a lot of people play Lost Ark, and literally, in a lot of the bosses, if you don't do exactly what the boss says, you die. It, it's like- <laughs> it's like playing Devil May Cry on Heaven, no, on Hell and Hell mode with only Royal Guard. If you don't counterattack, you die. That's lame. What the fuck? Yeah, but that's a lot of the bosses in Lost Ark. That's literally what the. This is a horrible example to use. Dynamically changes the fight every pull. Or using height and gravity to create fun moments. There are mechanics that, that involve height and gravity. All FF14 has is stand and let thing resolve. Grab the tether and let it resolve. Go to clock spots and let it resolve. Hide behind the rock and let it resolve. So do you just want to die every mechanic or what? 
He's also cleverly not showing any of the actual mechanics where you're moving and then the thing resolves. Exactly. Like, like he bro is 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 trying so hard to be right that he is using the most disingenuous takes and blatantly showing things that dismantle his entire argument. His entire argument falls to shambles if you just put what what is it P seven with the tree, or is it P eight? Uh, it's P seven with the tree. If I yeah, think yeah, P seven with the tree for even for even like a minute dismantles his, his whole argument, bro. Whole thing. And this repetition Come on, of dog. reusing old mechanics over and over on top of a non changing gameplay formula leads to apathy. I'm not. I'm not going to go too in depth with the gameplay formula change because I made a joke about it earlier, but my joke was like low key serious, right? If you if you whole ass change how the game plays, you 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 cooked because it was already a drastic enough change, albeit in a positive way, getting rid of the TP meter from from Stormblood's Shadowbringers. That was a net positive change, right? If you do, as in my joke earlier, change the gameplay of 14 and it's still Final Fantasy 14, but it plays like Devil May Cry, nah, not happening, bro. If if you were if you were to make it like WoW and make everything on a one and a half cooldown instead of two and a half cooldown, you're cooked, you're finished, it's over. It 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 is genuinely over. That's not that is not a good thing to ask for. It's not. No longer are we challenged and asked to improve our gameplay ability. Oh, hey. What's this? It's something where you have to move. It's not just stand and let it resolve. Oops. That's crazy, bro. We are simply tasked with finding the safe spot and standing there until the thing resolves. And challenge in FF14 has actually been going backwards. The game is not even maintaining the difficulty. It what do you mean, bro? Again, again, he has not played since the end of Shadowbringers. So like, what, what do you mean by that, bro? Used to have, but actually making everything easier and easier. Topic 3. It wasn't always like this. I understand that I might be coming across as a bitter old man yelling at kids- Oh, you don't say. ...for having fun. I'm only 24, by the way. But trust me, I absolutely despise nostalgia lords who blindly think everything was better in the past. However, we can empirically say that Final Fantasy has only gotten easier with every expansion. Class design has completely stagnated and lacks any growth at all. I mean, it blew my mind that an actual popular opinion these days is to make combo skills just one button that you spam over and- Who is asking for this? Who- I mean- Who- I- I- I gen- Who is asking for the game to be a one-button game? Well, not- not literally a one-button game, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, with this argument, it's like either they do it and then you have your hot bars freed up for more buttons to press or you don't and you make just bosses harder and harder. Like, you, it's it's just one of the two. More Less buttons means that they can make even harder bosses, but more buttons mean that the jobs are more complex, but the bosses probably get a little bit easier, so. Hmm. Interesting. And over. Yeah, great idea, geniuses. You know, what if we just made every class have one ability called the I win button? Maybe then you could convince yourself you're a good player. Preach Gaming used to have a full Bro is so bitter for what, dog? <laughs> Damn. Philosophy on class design he called moments of glory, where classes were not meant to be jacks of all trades, but instead have moments and encounters where their specific class had an area to really shine and do something special. Where are- Like- what every single in class in the game has? Hello? What? A a a am I missing something here, or...? You're not, he's just being obtuse for no reason. Literally, bro, like...
it, every single thing, about, thing has its uniqueness and he's acting like nothing is different you know something he would have been able to easily see how one because he and you no know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let it get to the point and then i'm gonna bring it up oh god all right modern day ff's moments of glory pressing fell cleave five times in a row yeah that's real interesting and unique the only class that no st stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it first of all first of all brody plays a warrior okay and for something for him to say that nothing is unique i'm sorry I guess you must have missed the part in your six years of playing tank that Warrior has the best way of staying alive all by itself. Like, oh, you know, Paladin can basically block anything and takes the least amount of damage from the tanks. Dark Knight is the best tank for, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, dealing with magic damage and magic related things and has the best shield button in the fucking game. Like, hello? Uh, a gun Gunbreaker has a six part combo and does crazy damn bro like huh there's oh man this is uh uh okay all right all right can even have a moment of glory is black mage which is coincidentally the class that the game director Yoshi P plays, in which they can save up instant casts and procs to do an entire phase of an ultimate fight without ever needing to hard cast a single spell. Now that's really cool. Try and, and this find is the point, and because you see, here's the thing, right? If he truly kept up with the game, if he truly, truly, if he fucking even played the game, he would know that in the final phase of top. There is a strat to where on Dark Knight you can click off your tank LB3 when you're spamming all the LBs. You can t click off the tank LB3 because the healer LB3 comes back with it. On Dark Knight specifically, you do that so you can get a full bar of mana back and have an infinitely better burst phase. Is that not a moment of glory? Or is that just fucking just normal gameplay? Like the fuck? That quite literally is a moment of glory. But he wouldn't know that because he didn't play the game. Exactly. See, th this this is a problem. This is the problem with people like him talking out his ass, bro. It's like, it's like, okay, you know that I have never played a single minute of a 2K game, right? Yep, yep. And I know I rag on it and joke on it, be like, just to just have a ha ha moment. But if I were to sit up here and make a whole ass video meticulously picking apart the gameplay and everything involved in a 2k game and i know good and damn what i've never played a single minute of it and i disclose that in the video i will like a fool you're talking out of your ass literally i'm talking about something i never played at a technical meticulous gameplay level you can't do that that is objectively wrong. Damn it. <laughs> any other moment of glory on any other class, they don't exist. Okay, so Red Mage just can't save a run because, uh, you know, the, the fastest reser in the game. Summoner can't have a moment of glory because Summoner managed to res somebody. It, it, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fuck it. Any DPS can't clutch out the run because of... Oh, they just managed to hit that one good crit, or they were the last one standing, and they managed to get off an LB3 in time, and then they win the fight? Come on, man. You can't, you cannot be this purposefully disingenuous and obtuse for fun. You can't. Bosses that used to require plan- Oh, hey, look, a boss out of gravity mechanic. Movement, careful positioning, and a consideration for your melee DPS's positional skills have devolved into bosses with hitboxes as big as the arena. Or the oh, hey, look at that. It's a raid boss with platform mechanics. Wow. The godforsaken wall boss, where boss movement is literally impossible. You know, I might as well just be punching the air with how little the actual enemy I'm fighting matters in an encounter. Raid buff abilities that used to have varying cooldown yeah, lengths requiring- Yeah, he used that point to try and like, uh, use it as a grandstanding. Like, uh, yeah, see this guy's 
But it's the boss that he was complaining. But it's the boss design that he wants because as platformers, literally, like it. Ha- <laughs> he asks for something. It's in the game. It's not good enough. Nope. It it it's not good enough for him. He 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 wants to be doing the the the, the Super Mario and be jumping from platform to platform to platform. And then, you know, do like a, 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 a backwards long jump, triple dash, whatever type shit in a fight and <laughs> yeah, still be able to that. hit his buttons. Come on, man. Come on. And planned and coordinated burst timing to maximize damage on an encounter have devolved into every buff still either having a 60 second or 120 second cooldown. That's literally what people asked for. I don't know how many times I and many other people can say this. Even even Yoshi P confirmed this himself. This is what the players asked for. From all facets. The casual, the mid, the hardcore people, and the ultimate people. This is what they asked for. And they got it. And it's a problem. Um completely removing the planning of burst windows. And there's still so much more! The complete irrelevance of enmity and removal of tank stances. Tank stances? Don't get me started on tank stances, bro. Do not. Do not get me started on tank stances, bro. Tank? Listen, I started playing the game in Stormblood. I started playing Final Fantasy XIV in patch 4.3. Right, and at 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 first, tank stance was like, hmm, okay, I do this, I keep aggro, and then when it's time to like beat things up, you switch. Right, over time, especially after doing that shit in red, I hated it. I didn't like it. It it was like, it was like, I have to do a whole lot as a tank for like. I'm not I'm not saying that the damage difference was minimal, but like the only the only class that could negate the damage debuff from being a tank stance was warrior. <laughs> so like I I I I'm good on the tank stance, but we we do not need to bring that back, bro. Yeah, yeah, if you didn't like fucking stance dancing then hell, that shit must have been off. Like not nah, nah gang we 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 don't we do not need stance dancing back this it i don't know i don't know how many more devil may cry references and joseph's gonna make but we do not need to be style switching mid fight this is not the game for that <laughs> this ain't the game for that bro this healer is being completely gutted into only having two damage skills <sighs> again People asked for this. Why? What, you know. You know what's crazy about this point, and that I've seen other people like try to make as an argument. Why are you mad that a healer has more things to heal with? Make that make sense. If you want to play a DPS, go play a DPS. If you want to heal. Play a healer. Why are you upset that in exchange for less damage buttons so that people have less things to press because, you know, the tried and true button bloat comes around every so often. You have less things to press and more options to keep people alive with. So. Where's the problem? I, I I need I need some assistance in trying to understand what the problem could possibly be, because I don't get it. I really don't. DPS classes have unique and interesting targeted utility skills like mana shift and palisade deleted from the game. Conal AOE's that used to require. Dyn okay, really. Is 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 he really tweaking out about a cone AOE? Yes, and you know, it's interesting because at first, like, well, because I remember specifically talking to a friend, like, I fucking hate Warriors, Kone, we, that shit's garbage. Now it's gone. At first, I was like, damn, okay, now it's gone. It was a unique thing. But then, I'm like, wait a minute. 
That shit sucked to aim anyways. Literally. Like, nobody liked aiming it anyways. And besides, it's bigger so you can gain more things. You hit more targets. You're, it's less of a fucking hassle to do shit with it. So it's it's a simplification that actively works, and it's cool. So, like, fuck. Clown ass shit, bro. Dynamic movement and aiming to hit the most amount of enemies homogenized into every AoE attack being a circle around your character so you can't possibly miss an attack. I mean, I could go on forever! <sighs> I got five minutes left in this goddamn video, bro. Cross class abilities that used to incentive. Okay, stop. No. In. <laughs> yeah. No. There. Is he gonna bring up attribute points next? Like, dog, you cannot. There, there. Listen, I, I have played a lot of MMOs over my years of playing games on computers. Right? I have never liked cross class systems because all this does, and this is coming from someone that likes grinding in games. By the way, all this is going to do is create an unnecessary grind for a class that you're never going to play again when you get the thing that you want from it, unless there is another thing that is crucial to the class you want to play being operational. Like, come on. Like, 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 e even in PSO2, right, I didn't really like the cross-class thing because it's like, damn, I have to play this class that I really don't want to fucking play to get this thing to make the thing I want to play better. I don't like that. I did not like that. So, in Final Fantasy fourteen specifically, that, I, I didn't even play a Realm Reborn, but talking to people who did play Realm Reborns, when the when the cross class thing was in there, most people hated it because, because like, like what was the, the main complaint I saw against it was like dark Knight, bro, bro. If you did not level the other classes, dark Knight was literally unplayable. You had no mitigation. You had nothing to, 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 um, uh, increase your, your, your parry rate, which was very, very, very needed on Dark Knight. Like, it was literally unplayable. And then, and then when they got rid of the cross class system, all of a sudden there was a, an extreme spike in people who played Dark Knight because it was like, oh my God, I can actually be a tank now. Wow. So like, bro, this cross class shit was not it, dog. And again, I started playing in patch 4.3 where this did not exist. Had I played in the 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 cross class system era in a Roma born in heaven's word, I don't know, gang. Sashay. Hey, I don't know. I probably would have dropped that hole. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Wait. No. This is not. This ain't the move, bro. Incentivize trying other jobs by leveling them up to borrow a skill for your main job are now just auto unlock roll abilities. Why is this a problem? I mean, I. I listen. I already kind of sort of addressed this before I had to step away for a moment, but like, if I'm going to play a tank, I want to play a tank and do tank things. I don't want to play a tank and then level a healer that I'm not going to play so I can be a tank, right? It's why, like, like I don't have white mage capped, and I was leveling for the fun of it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not actually going to play white mage, so I stopped. Right. If if I needed to have white mage at 90 in order to, I don't know, properly play red mage like, nah, bro, I wouldn't do it. It's like it's like how. How in PSO2, right, for every single class, original PSO2, for every single class that you had, like full on level capped. You're character as a whole 
got like hard stat, hard permanent stat increases, might I add. And then that became a point of contention because there were the people, there were the, the the Raiders in that game that got their panties and their balls in a bunch because oh someone doesn't have every single thing in the game level capped and they're missing out on like five points in striking attack. I don't want to raid with you. Like, no, that shit is unnecessary. If I don't have to cap something because I'm not going to play it, I'm not going to do it. So why is a tank getting things that allows them to tank and tank well a problem? I don't understand. Attribute points that added a this better. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There you go. There is no way this nigga is saying that attribute points were good. Oh my god. Bro. Listen. Just listen. Just listen. What you mean? Oh god, alright. Another layer of growth while leveling your character by giving you extra stats are gone. I mean, Jesus Christ, every expansion is just another round of wait and see what they delete this time. Shut the fuck up, bro. From, 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 from the bottom of my heart, shut the fuck up, bro. There is no way. Listen, my first MMO was an attribute point game. And guess what? Guess what, right? If I want to play a tank... Guess where all my points are going? Vitality. Wisdom. So I don't die from physical hits and magical hits, right? If I want to play a healer, guess where literally all of my points are going? Wisdom. Am I going to have health? No. Am I going to have crit? Not physical crit, I'll have magic crit. Am I, am I going to dodge any attack ever? No. Like, no, bruh. Am I going to deal damage? No. If I'm going to play a rogue class or a thief, guess where all of my points are going? Dexterity. So I always crit and I never get hit by anything that isn't magic, bro. There, bro. It's the same concept in this. If you're playing a healer in an MMO and you have attribute points, guess where a by default, all of your points are going so that you can heal better. The stat that increases healing power. What sense would it make to play a class that does magic things and put points into strength? What sense does that make? If I'm going to play a tank... And I need to be able to live. Why would I put points into intelligence when a tank does not deal magic damage? So you can be an intelligent tank, duh. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> this is bro, bro. This isn't Luna. I'm not making a Templar. <laughs> yeah, it's what? just like. Dog, like, oh this, my god, there's <laughs> no way. There's really no way, off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Oh. Damn, I didn't think it pissed you off this hard. Oh my god. Cause it's cop. Let me. Let me. It's common sense, bro. I I can guarantee you, without a shadow of a doubt, that if we, if that if, that the both of us would have log in right now and go into the novice network and ask people that played when attribute points were a thing, was the game better or worse because of attribute points? I guarantee you, everybody would say the game was worse with attribute points. Because, because that those, those were the days where literally having a single point of HP could cost you a run. If, if there was an attack that hit you for 7,001 HP and you had 7,000, guess what? You're dying. You're not going to survive that. Mm -mm. If, if, if there was a heal check mechanic and both your healers had like, I don't know, five points less into, in, in, <clears throat> excuse me, into mind that affected healing power, Guess what? You're not meeting the heal check. It, dude, dude, 
attribute points are so ass backwards that they literally don't make things any better right because yeah sure you can do the whole oh i'm gonna put a couple points over here i'm gonna put a couple points over here to min max guess what if there's something that requires you to have a set amount of points to do the thing you're not doing the thing plain and simple bro it's it, it it's just like how how the old materia used to be vitality plus whatever intelligence plus whatever dexterity plus whatever strength plus whatever bro because back then it was so crucial to meld stat specific materia not substat stat specific stuff in order to do content so this dude sitting up here and genuinely saying with his whole chest for an era of a game that he did not play, by the way, saying with his whole chest that he's upset that attribute points and cross-class stuff is gone has me have one singular thought. He does not give a single solitary fuck about what he's been saying over the 10 minutes of this video. He does not care. Cause th there's no, in a game like this, where, where the difference between being fully melded in crit or not is a massive difference in your overall DPS, bro, come on dog. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Now say what you was gonna say while I take about this fucking pizza. Yeah, I mean, he wants fucking uh, single player stat distributions where you can fucking make a character do literally everything. But this is a game that's built off the premise of we have specific roles and specific jobs. And with those specific roles and specific jobs, you're going to be melding into specific stats. If we had kept I guarantee you, if we had kept the era of melding specifically into like intelligence, mind, all that stuff, like it, the game, well, first off, the game wouldn't be nearly as popular. Secondly, we already have fucking, ooh, and this is a crazy analogy, we already have fucking job segregation as it is, <laughs> because some people fucking legitimately, they don't want black mages, they don't want red mages they don't want uh fucking sometimes they don't want machinists and shit like that and reapers and stuff like that because they don't deal enough damage you remember the fucking well you might not have heard of it but like the p8 situ p8 s situation like on on launch oh yeah i heard about DPS that yeah. yeah that shit, that shit was insane imagine it uh, bro, bro fucking e fucking imagine bro if p10s came out and we still had attribute points. Man, no. Nah. The tier would be unclearable, bro. I don't care what anybody says. You would not be able to finish the tier. Quite you couldn't do it. fucking literally, because I guarantee fucking T you, you're going to have healers who probably invested in fucking strength or vitality instead of investing in intelligence so that way they could heal more. And some heal checks would just, and having a certain combination of points probably would not be clearable. And people still don't fucking clear the fight anyway, so... what? Are Literally, we bro. Like, like... Like, shit, a few weeks ago, right? I was just online, and I was like, huh, I kind of want to fight Golbez for the fun of it, bro. I go into a party, it was a, it was a DPS slot open, I join, I say, what up, I've done the fight before, I'm here to help, there's like, oh, we don't like red mages. Huh? What you mean? It's a fucking extreme, bro, stop it. Right, you, you, you tweak it for what, dog? Because, like, here's the thing. I know the argument of, oh, every class can do every content. Yeah, sure, whatever. That argument is done and exhausted. Some things do things better than other. Yes, right? But, like, the fact of the matter is that why are you tweaking out over one job versus another job if you haven't cleared the fucking thing, bro? Oh, you joined a party that didn't clear up. Well, I mean, that for in that, in that particular instance, yes. But there have been other instances where... I've seen people huh, in the novice network and like in other places just talking about stuff and they're like, oh, well, I haven't cleared the thing, but I don't want to play with insert class here for 
stupid arbitrary reason. Like, huh? Red Mage is literally the best fucking frog class. Like, like hello? Like, I, yeah, sure, Red Mage may not do Black Mage or Samurai levels of damage, but, like, it still does damage. And it still clears shit. And progging, as you said, on Red Mage is, like, the best thing to bring along. Bro, I have literally watched prog streams, and someone would be like, oh, maybe I should switch to Red Mage so we can, like, try to figure out this mechanic. No, don't do that. Huh? Why? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, it actually, hang on. Wait a minute. This goes back to fucking moments of glory because you want to know something? Red Mage can either save, save an entire run and keep the frog going, or you can go summoner, where you literally don't have to pay attention to the buttons you're fucking hitting, and you can just focus on mechanics. Some teams have their fucking casters go summoner just specifically so they can learn the mechanics, and then they switch off to Black Mage. Literally. But, oh, you know, there's no moments of glory in the game anymore. <laughs> Bastard. Mm -mm. Like, that, 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 that is... Uh, out of out of the many things that I've seen people tweak out over on Final Fantasy XIV, that is the biggest one, bro. The biggest one that I've seen people tweak the fuck out over. And I will never understand why, because it just doesn't make sense to me, bro. Oh, my God. Also, what's up, Neko? What's popping? <laughs> Ugh. Misshapen Chair made a video going in-depth about how the dumbing down of class design is removing interest for veteran players, and I want to say that these changes don't help new players either. The greatest strength a game can have is being a game that is easy to learn but difficult to master. What happens when the game is easy to learn and easy to master? Who the fuck is saying Final Fantasy XIV is easy to master? Do you know how much shit relies on someone else doing something right? Like, you- you could- you could be the second coming of Jesus playing this game by yourself. But if someone else in the party does something wrong, guess what? Everybody dies. Or, or the fight just got that much harder because someone did something wrong, bro. Like, and, and, and again, I don't, I really don't want to keep repeating this fucking point. But I don't know how many more times I can say that things have gotten homogenized and easier because people are asking for things to be homogenized and easier. Mm -hmm. You know, as veteran players, we often have to huff copium by saying that, well, the game isn't made for us. It's made for new players, and us veterans are just marketing tools to get new players to try the game. But that doesn't that's cap. last forever. That, that's that, made for everybody. That's cap, bro. The game is made for literally everybody. There isn't an infinite pool of new players you can constantly bring in. Eventually, those new players become veteran players too, and they will realize all the problems with the game and end up logging out for the last time. What? The bro is also, projecting this, so hard, yeah, dog. Yeah, this point was also another really fucking like point that just pissed me off because. It's the fact that he, it's, and I just got, uh, I fucking, I got done doing the fucking CJ paper, and it's like, there's a cycle, right? Like, there's new player, goes through all the, con goes through content they want to, becomes a veteran player, and then the new, but he forgets the part where more new players come in. Right? Like, new players come, like, there will almost until the game starts like going off of a cliff which i don't see anytime soon there will always be new players coming in so that cycle doesn't really fucking happen like this is this cycle that he's talking about is fucking stupid like i i have never seen such blatantly wrong projection when it comes to 14 in a long time and this is this this is the worst example of it. Like, I, I mm, this is, uh, this is damn shame, bro. What happens when there is no more new players? We we are we're not gonna go over that. We just finished talking about that. Topic four: Who is this game made for? Everybody, literally everybody, bro. Every the, every single person. There is something in this game that caters to them, right? There are the people who 
aren't necessarily engaged with the rating and the extra and the this that there are there are people out there who just want to play the game for the story because and the dev team has said this so many times before it is a final fantasy game first and an mmo second i'm gonna repeat that it is a final fantasy game first and an mmo afterwards so you know let's keep that in the forefront of our minds Every simplification, every deletion of a system, every dumbing down of an interesting mechanic has always been seen as making the game more approachable. My question is with this never-ending crusade of making the game easier and easier without ever expanding the available content or adding on to the existing gameplay formula. Oh my god, the elitism is... Ugh, it's sickening, bro. And this isn't the haha -ha funny kind of elitism that I, that I like to do. This is the, like genuinely toxic asshole elitism that nobody it likes worse. it gets it worse gets which bruh okay Mila, what is the end goal for final fantasy 14 everything i loved about the game has either been removed or dumbed down to the point of being menial as some this is this is the kind of person that's like if it is not exactly to my specifications the game isn't worth playing uh, oh god well it's real nine up Ex exactly he get risky risky gets it bro he thank you thank you for being right <laughs> thank you oh my god god damn dude Someone who got into the game for the unique class design and amazing raid encounters, I've had to sit and watch as all the interest in class design was- Is that a triple beam mechanic? Uh, it's- that's their new way to indicate that an attack will be hitting multiple times, so they like stack it up like- like, like they put the stack marker on top of the stack marker essentially, but Ooh, not that, like acting it together. That looks painful. It does hit slowly good, whittled yeah. away making every class dull and homogenized. I've had to sit and watch as all the creativity and raid design slowly evaporated into a mishmash of reusing the exact same mechanics for years on end. Oh my god, shut up, dude. How much longer does he go on about this? Uh, you'll find out. And if the trend continues, at some point, your favorite features will end up being dumbed down or deleted. So what is the end goal? Why is he talking for who other people? Who is the game made for? Cat moms who play one hour a month and spend that entire time crying because the pixels on the screen said a sad word? Leveling roulette? I'm gonna run that back to make sure I heard that right. Play the entire segment. How much longer is it? Oh. Who is the game I'll made for? Over. Cat moms who play one hour a month and spend that entire time crying because the pixels on the screen said a sad word? Leveling roulette mains who spend the entire expansion leveling classes that they will have no use for at max level? Roleplay mains who don't even do any content at all and spend their sub money dancing at player made clubs? Look, I'm not. Is that the end of it? There's one more I, part that I, I want to hear. I'm, get, I'm more, getting real more, heated, bro. One more part I want you to hear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like Broly right now, bro. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not trying to shit on those kinds of people. But if that's who the game is targeting, then why there even bother me? I just want you to hear the part where you're saying, Look, I'm not trying to shit on these people, bro. Okay. Okay. Well, first thing I'm gonna do. Let is, it out, bro. Let it out. Is I, I'm going. I'm going back up from my mic just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah oh, shit. Because this is this is the problem here, right? This is the kind of guy that skips story and then 
has the audacity to look down upon and shit talk people who play the story because I the first person that he showed I don't know her name but I have seen multiple people bring her up when it comes to people who get emotional over the story because hey guess what if you spend many hours and gaze in a story it's okay to get emotional over it it's okay to get upset it's okay to cry it's a story that speaks to you in one way or another there is nothing wrong with that okay second of all second of all he's talking about people who liberally play the game when they want to because they want to level things that look cool to them and not so just that oh they won't have any use for it mother are you paying their sub are you playing the game for them I didn't do, think you'd bring up that statement. <laughs> do you do you run their account? Do you have them at Blicky Point telling them if you don't do this, you can't play the game, dog? That I don't. I hate. I I legitimately hate people like this. And I know that a part of my content, part of my brand, is me jokingly saying, "Haha, I hate this. I hate that." But no, in this instance, I genuinely hate this kind of play this is the worst kind of final fantasy 14 player talking about a game and a community that he does not engage with this is the kind of person that is the whole reason why people both in and out of the novice network are are like cripplingly afraid to play a different role to do raids normal mode raids by the way to do extremes to do savages to even consider doing anything outside of the norm because people like this guy like this guy are going to tweak out and have a critical level meltdown over them making the smallest of mistakes. They get one bone stack, and this is the kind of guy that just like, no, stop. We gotta, we get, we gotta wipe. We gotta start all over. This person made a mistake, and they chew them out. This is not the kind of guy that's like, okay, you know, let's talk it out. And, you know, we can improve here. We can improve there. You know, I'll help you out with this. I'll help you out with that. I'll do call calls here. No, this is the kind of guy that will put a stick to your head and be like. Do it right, or I'm not rating with you no more, bro. This is the kind of guy that you go to an event or a convention or something, and he is literally um actualing people. He he it, in a Dungeons and Dragons game, he is the that guy of the group. This is the worst kind of person to play a game like this because he will make it objectively worse for so many people this is the kind of guy that contributes to people quitting the game because he is faulting them for not playing the game in a certain way this is the kind of elitist that people warn other people about this is the kind of person that literally has no friends period in games like this because he wants to hold everyone and everything to some crazy, critical, impossible to meet standard to make himself feel better. This is the kind of guy who talked so much smack about the story and he called himself making YouTube videos, him going through the story and him purposefully not paying attention, purposefully taking shit out of context, purposefully talking shit about the game, purposely going on about, oh, this sucks, this sucks, yada, 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 yada. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying you have to be a lore master like some Final Fantasy 14 content creators do as their content. I'm not saying have be a lore master to enjoy the game, but if you're going to skimp out on the one thing that really draws people to the game, it being a Final Fantasy game, and then you're gonna pull a Schrodinger's douchebag and be like, oh, I'm not shitting on them, but you talk about them as if they shouldn't have the right to play the game in the first place, bro. Get, bro, get your shit together, dog. I, I need you to be so fucking for real right now. Get it together, bro. Because no no wonder someone like you quit the game. Because you cannot fathom 
other people having fun. That's crazy. And then the part, and then the part about the RP club venue thing, did, did, did you not peep that the people in that clip was wearing stuff that you had to do content to get? You don't just get the Eden Morn stuff by not doing the raids. You don't get half the outfits that you saw in that clip without playing the game. You don't get anything without playing the game, bro. Imagine. This is the kind of toxic raider that no one likes in anything, bro. This is the kind of person who you want to you know, maybe casually talk about a piece of media with, and he'll start throwing, like, lore book and this and this and that, and you'll be like, mm. oh, whoa, bro, I just want to talk about the casual love. He's like, no, yeah, talk about it like this, yada, yada, yada. Bro, this is literally a console war-ass dude, bro. This, this is the kind of guy that if you say your favorite color is blue, he will blow in gasket and have an aneurysm because your favorite color isn't red. Oh, my god, I have encountered many a person that would try to shit on other people for enjoying the game, how they want to do it, but this dude, this dude is literally the worst, and again, he is talking down and spitting on people and being an asshole over a game that he has not played for three years, bro, three years, he has not played the game and he has the nerve to talk and look down on someone who was getting emotional over one of the best stories in final fantasy history bro this is that dude this is that dude who wants to sit up and just raid 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 all day and there is no problem if you just want to raid all day but if you're gonna be an elitist toxic raider like this dude I don't want to hear it, bro. I do not want to hear it, dog. Because it's crazy to me. This is like... This is like the people who will sit up here and be like, why are you so invested in this thing? And then be mad that you're invested in something that you like. Like, dog. I don't... I don't get it. This, this is the worst kind of elitist in any piece of media period bro and and i say this i'm a fucking sonic fan i'm a trails fan. i'm a dragon ball fan this dude is worse than them and to whoever sees this that is a part of any one of those fandoms you'll be like damn that's a tough statement to say and i'm saying this because i'm right I know what I'm talking about, dog. When it comes to this, when it comes to this, nah, man. Nah, go, 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 go fuck yourself, bro. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. The game is not going to miss you. No one is going to miss you, bro. Ain't nobody gonna miss you, dog. Because you've take, you have taken your own personal problems and have exacerbated them to such a catastrophic degree that you're trying to make your problems everybody else's problems and project for what, dog? You're projecting because you personally are not satisfied with the game that you haven't played for three years. You personally are not satisfied with things that objectively held the game back. You personally are not satisfied with some one small thing and you play the easiest class in the game and you're being a piece of shit to people who do not deserve it for no reason other, other than you just having a platform to just say whatever the fuck you want to say because you're that much of a bitch that you can't cope with it. You cannot cope with people playing the game the way they want to play the fucking game. And somehow, some kind of way, you're taking shots at majority of the player base. For what? For what, dog? You're, you, 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 this dude is so anti-fun that it makes sense that he quit the fucking game, dog. Holy shit. That is, that is astonishing, bro.
genuinely astonishing. Making Did you have anything else you want to say before I continue this goddamn video? Nah, bro, what the fuck? You just went on this goddamn 20-minute rant. Bro, that has to be a, its own fucking segment. Bro. That shit. has to be its own fucking segment. That it, shit is what I'm sitting here fucking just like texting. I'm just hearing. I'm like, damn. This thing is spin. This thing is spin. What the fuck is spinning? Oh, my God. Hey, bro, I had to let you let your nuts hang, bro. <laughs> Let's continue, bro. Let's continue, bro. I, I had to, bro. I literally had to, bro. That shit pissed me off so much, man. Fucking for shio rants, for real, for real, bro. <laughs> Damn. Man. Do I even bother adding new classes to the game? Why even bother with anything but the MSQ? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna just let a little bit more of it play. I'm just gonna let a little bit more of it play. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. Point I'm trying to make is that on top of catering to the cat moms of leveling roulette mains, fuck, uh, not gonna do it. RP enjoyers, the game used to cater to everyone. The game still caters to everyone. What do you mean? What do you mean, dog? It used to cater to the high-end raid enjoyers who wanted in-depth class design to master and theorize how to maximize on a fight-by-fight -fight basis. Does he not understand that the high-end raiders make up less than, what, 15-10% of the total player base? Hell, probably less than that? It's, it's, uh, I, I, un I understand your point, though. I, I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I can, I can kind of agree with that. Although I, I hate the people like it's only one percent of the player base that it is. Uh, it's such a stupid point, but I, I, I see what you're saying. Bro is acting like, like eighty percent of the people who play the game, just do savages day in and day out all day, bro. Fuck no. Like, come on, man, shut your ass up, shut your bitch ass up, bro. It used to cater to the mid-core, semi-invested players who wanted a goal to chase with relic weapons. Um, when did relic weapon collection become a mid-core thing? Uh, it's the... It depends on how you classify it, but you could say that mid-core, like, doing Baja and stuff, could be for the mid because the mid core people are people who don't like always do savages they may do some extremes they might dabble in savage but they do a lot of casual stuff if we factor in bazia and late game eureka as mid core things okay i can get it but a Rumble born relic collection heaven's word relic collection no that's not mid-core sh- What? Nah, dude. The only mid-core anything was, like I said, in my opinion, late game Eureka and Bazia. Because that had difficult shit in it. That had new mechanics in it. So, like, no, that, 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 again, you're objectively wrong. And, like, again, the whole thing with the relic shit, bro, people were crying and begging and pleading and pissing and shitting themselves to not have to grind for relic weapon again. There were so many people begging for it to just be a tombstone only thing. And just like I've been saying over the course of this entire reaction video, people got what they asked for and it was a problem. They were mad about it, right? And they, they even made it so easy to where all you have to do is watch the fucking Hildebrand cutscenes. No, no, you don't even have to watch them. You can skip them. Do that. Get your rocks. Turn your rocks in for another set of rocks and you get your weapon. And people yeah, still have an issue with them. <sighs> yeah, because I mean, but then again, like you've been stating before... The only reason why we're on fucking rock collecting stages because people don't like every other fucking thing that they tried to do before. So they tried this and then they people like, ah, I don't like it. Ah. Right. Like, people didn't like the book shit and Roman Born. Got changed to Heaven's Word. People didn't like the 
the Heaven's Word stuff, and they wanted some more PvE stuff to do, they got that. People got Eureka. People was like, oh my god, Eureka's too hard, too long. I don't want to do all that. We got Bazia. Now we don't have Bazia Eureka. And people are mad. Like, bro, come on. Like, I, I, I was one of the rare people that's like, oh, I want another version of Bazia and Eureka because that was fun for me. I was a rarity in people saying that, bro. I, I was one of the people that's like, yeah, I get it. And I understand why it's Tomestone stuff, but I don't like it because what cool shiny thing do I have to grind for that isn't an extreme or a savage weapon? What do I, what, what do people like me have to grind for now when it's just like, oh, well, I got my rocks, got my weapon. Yay. What, what do we have? Because again, the community asked for this and now we don't have the thing that other people anyway i'm continuing the fucking video it used to cater to people who actually wanted a game to get invested in and master you don't have to be a gameplay god guru to be invested in a fucking game dog on top of the new players the casuals and twitter spamming graha tia simps okay what? fuck you dude fuck <sighs> fuck you Just fuck you man fuck you <laughs> i'm uh, i'm 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 sick of that shit bro why i don't understand the people who skip the story who constantly take pot shots at people who love the story who want to talk about the story who want to do this and this and that with the story who like their fucking character bro fuck that dog that would be like that would be like, like the peop the the people in the Trails fan base that just hate the Cold Steel games for whatever reason, and they 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 have their own little personal canon event Broly moment. If you're like, oh yeah, my favorite character is Reen. Oh, you can't like Reen. <laughs> yeah, like dog. What's your problem, bro? Hop off ten real quick for me, bro. Hop off. Hop off ten for real, gang. Like Jesus. Damn. But it's not that way anymore, and I just don't for you know who the target audience is for this game. It's not you. I don't know if Square Enix just wants you to simply play the patch by coming back once every four months to complete all the new content in four hours and go, oh, that was cool, I guess. And okay, first of all, all the patch content cannot be done in four hours. That, are that is realistically impossible, even if you are skipping cutscenes. And the second of all, Yoshi P is on record several times by saying, hey. If you've done everything you want to do in the game, it's okay to cancel your sub and take a break and go play something else. He has literally said, I don't want people to only play this game and miss out on other games or neglect things in their daily life. He has said that so many times in so many different ways. When, when the developer and the producer and the director or whatever of the game is telling you it's okay to go play other stuff if you only play final fantasy 14 and you treat it like a nine to five job that's your fault that is entirely on you you got nobody to blame but yourself for that and then log out for four more months it doesn't seem that way with how slow the gearing up process takes or the hooks they have to keep you resubbing with things like the auto demolition timer for housing where you can't take a break longer than 45 days. But if that was dismantled during the, you know, the pandemic time, but go off. Okay. If they want us to continue playing week after week, paying our monthly $15 entry fee. This isn't wow. You aren't going to be time gated out of stuff if you don't play the game, dude. Mm. Yeah, this dude's a WoW player, all right. Then why are they removing- Well, an ex-WoW player. All of the interest and challenge for players who do spend a large amount of time playing the game. I don't subscribe to the idea that making everything easier and simpler ends up keeping new players invested for longer. In fact, I think it's the opposite. What do you mean, bro? Like, you, did you- Have you peeped that- Granted, it makes sense that he's talking a lot about himself throughout this whole video, but yet 
with a title that reads the downfall of Final Fantasy 14, you would expect him to be more willing to talk about the game and the people that play the game as a whole. But he has quite literally used like I, me, my so much throughout this video because he's talking specifically about himself. Have you peeped that? You know, now that you actually bring attention to it, because it like that, because mm, when I think about it, right, like I've watched a lot of content of like the downfall of this rapper, this game, this brand, this player for sports. Like there's a lot of that stuff. But the key thing about it is that they use data analysis and all these other things about it to specifically say that this downfall is because of x y and z but in but now that you bring light to it yeah he uses i me we a lot of times because even though he's technically speaking for the hardcore rating place which as you made very apparent that you don't like and uh that people will make very apparent that he's not a representative this is really just his opinion. And yeah, sure, I get it. Clickbait YouTube title. Ah, ah, ah. What the fuck ever. You would think this video would be a lot more, like, analytical about it. Because, and this is, uh, I saw a comment about it on a different video. And it sums up perfectly. Any points that he has that are actually good are have been repeated so much and or so lukewarm that nobody wants to debate them. And any points that he makes with actual passion are some of the most brain dead shit that you can ever fucking say. So at that point, this is this is video is makeup is 90% bullshit, 10 5% lukewarm takes and 5% genuinely okay shit. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Cuz like like and I and I know that you know, I didn't touch on it at many points. I know for a fact I fucking touched, touched on it when I was having my my, <laughs> my moment of glory moment. But like, <laughs> but like, like that ass, bro. Brody wants fucking. He wants Final Fantasy to be more like WoW, where you have to log in every fucking day because if you don't log in for one day, you're fucked, right? He wants shit to be so crazy time gated that 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 that's. That, that's what keeps people playing day in and day out, every day, all day. He wants so much unnecessary shit in the game that, again, caters to people specifically like him and his play style for it to be fun and enjoyable. Like, he he has, in so many different ways said that if you don't play the game like i do you're inferior you're invalid i don't care about you you're not worth listening to you're pathetic you're blah 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 if you're gonna make a video about that shit just say and change the title to i don't like final fantasy 14 anymore this is why and then add in brackets personal opinion Oh, if, man, but then, but see, here's the thing: the downfall of Final Fantasy XIV is an engaging title. That's why he has 141k views in two weeks. That's why he has 4.1k likes, and that's why he has 6.3k dislikes. Mm-hmm. Because because that's that's the kind of shit that this kind of content brews. Because if you're not gonna talk about something in a in an objective manner. Or 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 and, and and as much of a least biased manner as possible. That's the kind of shit you get. Cause you you have you also have to keep in mind, right? As I said at the beginning of the stream, this is the guy that said healers have a rotation. This is the guy that said healers need to stop healing so much and do more damage so that they can heal more, but later on type shit. Like this is the guy. That says inflammatory shit with a smile on his face, thinking he's right. And this is the kind of guy that gets booted out and kicked out from from statics and groups and party finders because he wants to force people to play at a at a standard that most people cannot meet. Because I can't make people play at my personal standard, so why would I hold people that are not me myself and i to my standards 
That's what he does. That that is what he does. Honestly, this guy has way too much fucking faith. <laughs> Why the fuck would I? I'm not gonna hold Billy Joe to my standard when I know god damn well he's not gonna hold up to it and i'll be sorely disappointed that's why i temper my expectations despite i i'm a fucking cryptic party finder user so like it's just like if i go in with the express intention of yeah no we're gonna fucking clear this fight in 30 minutes nobody's gonna make in any mistakes i'm gonna go fucking insane there's no reason for me to hold this high standard. And well, yes, I get it. But well, honestly, it's more apparent when people go below the fucking bare minimum. That's when it's an issue. When people are doing the bare minimum, it's fine. But when people go way below the bare minimum, that's when I'm like, oh my god, okay. That's when I can complain about the fucking Billy Joes not barely, not even fucking pressing any of their buttons and pressing them out of order. That's when I can complain. But this guy probably, like you said, would complain about someone getting a gray. Like, the fuck? This is... We we can go on. We can go on and on for hours about this shit. About this one singular thing alone. But, like... Like I said earlier, this is the worst kind of player complaining about a game and a community that he does not interact with. Like, again, going going back to the expectations thing... If, if I in my static, right, and let's say there's a mechanic where I have to partner up with a healer, right? If I know that this healer has a consistent pattern of having a Vone stack during the mechanic that requires them to not have a Vone stack, otherwise they die, and I keep expecting them not to have a Vone stack, who's the fool, the healer or me? If they have a consistent pattern of shit, why am I expecting something that will never, ever happen? That doesn't make any now, sense. What a good person would do is to try and help that person break that pattern. But exactly. You didn't, you didn't hear that from me, though. But would, would, would Lynx do that? No. Absolutely no. not. Absolutely not. Anyway... I think expanding the available content, keeping a high skill ceiling for players to master, and constantly creating unique encounters to genuinely challenge your gameplay ability gives players a reason to play the game more than the required 4 hours a patch. I used to think that all the simplification to class is- Where is this 4 hours a patch thing coming from? Probably the fact that like, I mean, like if you really, really try you can do the story you can go to the story go to your dungeon go to your trial the ex really isn't that hard to learn um and then i think there's a couple of like, quests or whatever that you can do so technically if you like really really get real technical yes could quite literally do the patch in a few hours but that's not including island sanctuary there's this like random fucking yellow quest called that, that goes in like the lore like the four fiends that i just randomly fucking found i've been going through like very slowly whenever i log on so I, I, again it's assuming you're a strict 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 raider but even then that's still wrong because you can't far out everything in four hours anyway so mm. as i thought design would mean players would have an easier time getting better at the game so they could tackle harder content but as i'm sure all of you know even in ff's easiest state of all time people in roulettes are still terrible at their classes okay bro come on dog you cannot and you will not and you should not continue to hold people to an impossible standard that they will never meet. Now, the 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 smallest bit of charity that I will give this guy is that okay, yes, by level 90, you should have at least some idea of what you're doing. But guess what? It's okay to make mistakes, right? If someone 
is playing a tank and they're new to tanking and as, as someone who frequently plays tank i can pretty much tell when someone's new to tanking when i'm not playing tank okay i'm not gonna be like you need to press this here you need to you need to frame perfect this you need to perfect parry that nah dude come on man get real sitting up here and being like oh people are still terrible at their class why are you so pressed by it warrior player since you want to keep going on about this whole thing of you know people being bad at the class it being bad at the class that i don't want to hear anything from a warrior main and that's the only thing that they play they play the easiest goddamn thing in the game i don't want to hear it i do not want to hear it i don't and i'm not going to entertain that conversation from anybody and their main is warrior and they want to complain about people not doing this right people not doing that right, people not playing the class right you only play one thing shut your bitch ass up bro it's, shut up and like it's really interesting because i have found myself being that guy who's just like oh come on man like why the fuck can't you like do this however i've learned that number one you temper your expectations because technically speaking if you temper your expectation you can't be disappointed and when you are disappointed it is justified because your expectations were in fucking hell mm -hmm. so like i get it like i've had encounters where people are just genuinely shit at the game but like when i can tell there's this one guy in the knob zone who knows he's bad at the game and like tries to overcome it and but like actively doesn't do the hard content because he knows he's bad at the game i can respect that as much as i encourage people to do rating because i i genuinely think it's the best content the game has to offer i can understand and respect people's decision to not do it and also i won't yell at people when they're not fucking doing the rotations right at a certain point like when it's been the the 50th wipe and you wiped in the exact same position at the exact same time that's when i might blow up a little bit but it really does feel like this guy is going to blow up at you for fucking parsing a gray and you still won the fight with with at least two minutes on the enrage timer this guy really does feel like the guy that just going to this is the guy that I that makes me not want to go and do statics because I got to deal with that bullshit. And I know that if I if I I know for a fact, if I deal with him, I'm going to fucking make him want to uninstall. Like, I, I, I'm, I don't want to deal with that shit, bro. It doesn't make any sense. And this this is also a guy that like I, I don't I don't like to necessarily rag on people's like personal stuff but i promise you this guy does not talk spicy in real life, bro this guy is not up to it bro i Hell promise no. you bro it's this guy is not up to it he's he's not that guy he's not like that he's, he's not literally that not that guy he's not that guy you're not he's not that guy bro it's like like and it, it's so frustrating because again this guy is the exact this guy is the reason this guy is the reason why you just don't like hardcore raiders. Like just straight up, I, I I'll admit it. Like I I can tell. Like this guy that I and I've been in the community at least a bit. So I not everybody's like this, but the people people like this idiot are is what most people are going to see. And that's and it goes back to my main point. The fucking doomers are spewing this dumb shit because this because one vocal dickhead is somehow made the idol and then the glazers fucking see that and now they're all they're all going fucking fighting ah like it's nothing there will be no good conversation until both sides can see like points through but because it's, admittedly this game is fucking stupid so it, it it's not gonna happen but this guy is not contributing anything in fact this video probably did more harm than it did good in my opinion but granted it got some people got some good content so uh. yep i i i i full on agree with you bro full on agree with you man 
people in party finder groups are still floor magnets that do one dps and it ain't it crazy how you how we both said he would rag on somebody for not doing a bunch of dps and then, but, he, uh, and then he literally fucking confirms it. Uh, no, don't yes, get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I understand if someone's like constantly dying. That's different. Oh, yeah. No, it's different. But this this guy is the guy who would genuinely like three deaths in. Oh, yeah. You're floor back. You're, 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 you're so bad. Ah, like Again, I'm not trying to shit on these people. You spent almost 15 minutes doing exactly that. There is no way, like I said earlier, Schrodinger's douchebag. That he will say anything and everything under the sun. That is the most inflammatory, diminishing, reductionist, whatever. And then in the same breath, be like, "Oh, I'm not trying to shoot on you, dog." Listen, that's exactly what you're doing, and there is no possible way you can cover that shit up. It's just like how. It's just like how, how whenever whenever I get to going about skill issue in games and stuff, and I'm talking to people about skill issue, when they sit up here and be like, I don't want to do this in order to get this thing in the game, and then I respond with, then either shut up and stop talking about it, or figure it out and do it, but then at the same time, I go, oh, but I'm not talking down on you though. I'm not talking down on you though. When I literally told you to shut the hell up and stop complaining about it, that 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 does not work out, bro. If someone is sitting up here and is complaining about having to do something, or just is doing something in general, and then you sit up here and you talk eighty different kinds of shit about them, and then you have the audacity to be like, "Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not talking mean on you." You lying. You saying that to you, you covering up. And that's a horrible way to cover up. High key. I think this community would be so much better if people were very transparent. Literally. Like, like, like stop all this fake to fake toxic positivity. Like, yo, I don't like your bitch ass. Literally. Like, I tell people all the time, I don't fucking like you. As a human being, I do not like you. And keep it pushing. Cause that's all it takes. I ain't ain't we listen, bro. There's not enough time on the planet to keep doing this beating around the bush this and beating around the bush that if you don't like something or someone, just fucking say it and move the fuck on, dog. That's all it takes. That's all it takes at this point in time. And it's just like how how hell I've had my moments in in, in, in Party Finder, well, I would just tell people, I was like, you keep doing the same thing wrong over and over and over after we tell you how not to be hit by it. You are either sandbagging or you're just not getting it. Which one? And then I would be the one being looked at crazy because I'm calling out something that should not be happening anymore. It's like, it's like, you know how, hey, hey, actually, this happened, this, this happened in fucking Golbez, right? You know how he swings his sword on one side, and then he swings the other side, right? Who the fuck can't get that, bro? What exactly. The they keep consistently getting it wrong on the same swing at that, and they're just not doing it. And then, and then I call it out, but I'm the one being looked at crazy, though, right? Bro, bro is always dead for the mechanic that we need him for, but I'm the one that's crazy though. Okay, alright. Anyway. My point is that if someone doesn't have an interest in taking that step into the world of playing well and learning to optimize, then they just won't. Everybody doesn't oh, wow. do content. I that... enough point. Holy shit. Yeah, I get it, but at the same time, everybody doesn't do content that requires them to optimize. And that's the fucking lukewarm point I was talking about earlier. Man, that's crazy. That damn, damn. No amount of simplification, homogenization, and dumbing down or deletion of systems is going to make Johnny Two Fingers become a good player. It just makes the game less interesting and fun for those of us who want to spend a little more time on the game and get a little more invested. For you specifically. And this is the crux of everything I've said.
the path Final Fantasy XIV has been going down does not tangibly improve the game for new players because eventually they too will become veterans and reach a point where there is no more challenge or interest in the game for them. This as you continue to neglect the fact that there will be constant new players coming into the game and then is he he's acting like like the game is just going to stop when someone hits whatever you want to classify as veteran status in the game like huh that's no it don't it don't work like that bro it does not work like that at all and it never will this game that I gave 12,000 hours of my life to and six years of enjoyment has taken away everything I once enjoyed about it. I just want the game I once loved to be good again. I'm s Nigga, you deleted your character. You deleted your character! <laughs> you deleted your character! You don't have any re- No, no, no sane person paying a subscription to a game deletes their character for the sake of a joke. No, no sane person says that they want their main game to be like the game that it drew inspiration from, but the game that it drew inspiration from is dog shit, and they want the game to be just as dog shit. Who says that, bro? It has been in the past, and I desperately hope it will be in the future. Thanks for watching.